Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I'm gonna show you how to reduce size of a video file. So you might have some big files that you exported from Final Cut Pro or some other software and you want to reduce their file size before uploading to YouTube or some other service. So you might be familiar with Compressor that is offered by Apple but this is a paid software and I'm gonna show you a great alternative which is free and works as good if not even better than compressor. So the software that I'm talking about is called Handbrake. You can download it from handbrake.fr. As you can see here, it's a small and useful app and it will easily help you to reduce the file size and select the output format that you want. So let me show you how it works. So I have a file here which has over 900 megabytes. I will open the application. And as you can see, when opening, it already asked me to select a file to compress. So I will select this one that I showed you before, which has over 900 megabytes. And now when you have the file imported, we have a lot of predefined settings, which you can select here. So as you can see, you have general category, web, devices, and some other ones. And we have here options for Vimeo, YouTube. So for example, in this case, I would select YouTube HD 180p. And on video, I would change the frame rate for 30 frames. And I will not change anything else. If you want to change the quality, you have the quality level here. So we can just change it here. But I will leave it on the default. The file format of the video that I Im imported was the movie file. And the output that I want is MP4. So I will leave the default one here. And the rest I will just leave at the default settings. And now you can either click start to start the compression or add to queue and then select more files. You have a queue here so you can see all the files which are in the queue and then you can start compressing them one by one. Or if you want just to compress one file, you just click start. I already compressed the file so we wouldn't have to wait. And this is the output. And as you can see, it has 377 megabytes, so it's over half smaller. And honestly, I don't see any difference in quality. So this is the original file. And this is the one compressed. Of course, it's not exactly the same frame, but as you can see, the quality is very good and the size is, as mentioned, over half smaller. So as mentioned, if you want just to compress, you can just click start and you have the progress here on the bottom. So as you can see, it's super easy to use and reduces the file size significantly and the quality is still very good. So. For sure this is something worth to check out. I hope this was useful, if yes, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.